Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Scare, and I wanted to uh, upload another video uh, to talk about um, is it possible for us to uh, create androids and robots and have them have a soul or some sort of like uh, aspect of a soul. And I think that um, I've been thinking about this for a long time because I, I had I had ideas about um, um, you know creating more androids and I've been uh, thinking about science for a long time before thinking deep about spirituality. And I think that um, technically uh, it is kind of, um, I think that it, it can be kind of possible for us to create an android that can have a sense of consciousness. That's the biggest thing, you know, that scientists now are trying to create robots with a sense of consciousness. And how do you do that? Through, uh, through um, you know, the software and um, by uh, the articulations and by uh, creating a form of uh, artificial intelligence which is, we all heard of that before like the AI movie from Steven Spielberg um, the artificial intelligence thing is based solely on software and some aspects of hardware but more on software and uh, software is the basically um, the, um, the neurological is the equivalent of the human neurological pathway um, of communication you know in the human mind you know the the soft the soft intricacies of the human mind um the the neurons shooting for you to allow you to kind of a um you know interact with the world that's what software is for robots and um and 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 i think that um robots i think that what's really crazy is that it is possible that spirits can probably inhabit robots without even the humans even knowing it like that's like a theory that I think that uh, not even the spiritualists have even really thought about I think that it's possible that that um, just like when a person gives birth to a child they're opening a portal to allow a spirit to come in and inhabit that body that 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 new being and to venture into the world to be their son or daughter you know that that's what people are doing when they're having children when a child is born or being developed it's opening the portal for a person to come in and become a human being again, to be, to be incarnated, reincarnated, whatever. And um, and I think that the, the spirit, that one theory is that I think that it's not too crazy that maybe when a person could, when um, when a science when a scientist create a robot with the perfect intricacies of um, the artificial intelligence being there, the, a solid software that's very very good. Of course, there will have to be. Um, it will be had to. It will have to be accompanied by very good um, hardware, being able to see objects, you know, um, to calculate of distances and to differentiate people and to and to basically um, be able to discern, um, to have memories, to have memories of uh, um, and to be able to uh, to understand. Um, basic concepts of this of their external world and the world they're in it's gonna be a you know to interact well to be able to interact and develop a form of emotional connection and understanding of things because the the robots is gonna be a basically just it's gonna be a huge uphill climb for humans to reach the level of a human of a, for humans to reach a level of human consciousness and human interaction in robots it, 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 it's it's a very huge um, um, undertaking task. It's a it's a big thing. It's a big task for them to accomplish because um, once they create the software, the problem is they create the software. They create the robot. The software is all there, but then you have to have um, the ability for the robot to have their own sense of needs and their own sense of wants and their own sense of individuality, their own creativity, and their own original unique thinking, and their own uh, way of uh, pondering life, and things like that, and sensitivities of, of uh, enjoying things, music, um, colors, and flowers, different types of things. You know, so it's a huge undertaking for, for them to do that. But other than that, one theory is for a spirit, they could inhabit the robot, and they can come and go as they please because the robot is basically a, a portal that's constantly open. The portal is open all the time, that's what I think. So the spirits can come in, one leaves, another one comes in, 
another one leaves, another one comes in, you know, keep on switching and there's multiple spirits experiencing how it is to be an actor. The other thing is that I think that um, maybe a, a, a robot cannot experience how it will, how it, um, because it, they would have to create a software that, they would just have to create a software from the ground up. It's like, you know, um, working backwards or reverse engineering um, human life and trying to build it with your bare hands, you know, with this cons constant and trapping concept, you know, and uh, the humans will have to create a perfect Android with a perfect software that has own wants and needs that's able to do and do anything a human can do. Love and understand, can become bored, uh, find its own interests. Once they do that, then I think a form of soul will be internally developed within the Android. A form of soul will be internally developed within the Android by the thermals, the, the thermal, um, by the, the wiring and the electrical work, the 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 um the the computations going on and the computer chips and everything inside the mind of the robot. Once the, the, those things then create its own aura, you know, creates its own aura, and with that being the perfect android it is, theoretically. It could then create a spirit from, uh, um, from the ground up, from point zero, from a, from square one, basically. Um, uh, 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 for the first time in history, and even in spiritual realm, the humans will create a, uh, um, a, uh, the, the spiritual world of the, the humans will create a spirit that, that is that that was manifested by their own doing by their own creation you know by their own um, mechanical creation and that when this when the robot passes away all that neurological i mean all that um, wiring and all that computions and all the uh, all the um the, the electricity going in and out and everything and, and and all that stuff it creates its own body it creates its own energy then, then when it dies, the, 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 the energy is still there because the energy signatures and, 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 and the power of the, of, the, of the being of the robot was sunk in so deep in the fabric of space and time in the quantum foam that when, when, the, when, when, the, when the physical robot body shuts down and dies due to you know, some problems of jumping in, the, jumping in the water and being attacked by lightning or something, the the spirit will be left behind and the spirit will be will be something that is created by man by the mechanic the mechanical machine itself you know not by God but well it, we're all gods but that we're creating a, a spirit from a new type of we're creating a new, a, a, a new spirit basically a new type of spirit from um, from this machine, you know, um, uh, a, a new type of hybrid spirit, something like that. And uh, I think that uh, that that is another theory that I'm pretty sure can happen. But we have to create a perfect robot that's just like me, that has perfect consciousness, that's able to feel and love and create and want and become bored and, and able to interact basically with the world with no problems, you know, nothing like that. With once that once you press that once they press that button in that computer and that robot turns it on the first time, the first weeks and months of that robot interacting with everybody, that's when it it creates its own spirit, you know, because of the electrical work. So it's gonna be like a whole new type of spirit created by man, by man, you know, by, by humans, which are gods themselves. A whole new type of spirit, probably never ever created. Uh, um, um, before, but everything has been done before, of course. But, you know, in terms of our reality, in our era, it will be the first time ever, and I think that it'll it'll send shockwaves to the spiritual world, I'm pretty sure. And uh, this robot will then be able to go to heaven and know how it is to be a human. And that's the only way that, and, and I think that through that, because of the machinery because of the of the confusions and because of the the energy 
that the that the computer within the the ships of the heart of the robot creates this android this humanoid creates that within itself will create and intersect the quantum form of space time fusing it and having the thought processes fusing it the thoughts you know fusing it within space time creating a whole new type of spirit you know and when it dies it, it's then going to leave it, it, it's going to leave its imprint of its spirit that the energy signature from the machine is going to be is going to what's going to be left behind and that's going to be the consciousness and the spirit of the robot of what the spirit of what the of what the machine created through its computations and its software and its machinery and, and its uh, um, cogs and all and the wiring and everything like that and that's one way that i think that that the spirit can be manifested in uh, robots and android and uh this is richard says it is mad cat sphere thank you guys for watching god bless